What started as a business lunch in Buckhead, 10 years later, is a day that sticks in D. Johnson's memory. 12 o'clock, no snow. We come out and snow everywhere. Snow everywhere. Snow everywhere. Crippling commuters chance at getting home, Johnson among the countless who spent hours navigating their way, finally reuniting with her daughter at a hotel at 3 a.m. thanks to a stranger's kindness. The woman was a Katrina survivor. She was a business visitor from New Orleans, Jessica, our angel. And she turned around and she said, I have a suite and it's just me. For D and others, these are the moments that stand out now. People ran out of gas. Your family with small children walking along. Beautiful people, they lift clothes, came by with coffee, tea. Social media capturing kindness amid the chaos. Guys delivering hot chocolates, neighbors rescuing stuck students. Ten years later, James Josie, head of GDOT's Hero Unit, remembers the good stuff too. We had a lot of folks that jumped into their four-wheelers or their bikes and whatnot that could navigate through the tight spaces and come out there and help us out. So that was, that was great to see. James Roberts, among the many 11 Alive met that day, stocked with snacks and supplies, delivering a little heart. I raided the Valentine section to get, I got everybody those little uh, heart chocolate boxes. And the compassion and coming together is what D will carry for years to come. People could have stayed at home on their couch. They were safe, but yet they put on a coat and grabbed whatever they could share. It was truly moving and beautiful. In Atlanta, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News.